Hello my dear students I warmly welcome you to CS teacher classes in this lecture we are going to discuss about one of the important theorem from unit 1 that is the fundamental theorem of cyclic groups okay so let's see the what is the statement of this theorem okay so state and prove fundamental theorem of cyclic groups and other, other statement every subgroup of a cyclic group is cyclic moreover if cyclic group generated by a have order small n then the order of any subgroup of generated by a is divisor of n and for each positive divisor k the subgroup generator a has exactly one subgroup of order k namely generator a power n by k okay this is the statement of this theorem if you observe carefully we can divide this theorem into three parts the first part is every subgroup of a cyclic group is cyclic this is the first part and the second part is the order of any subgroup is a divisor of small n where small n is the order of the group and the third part is the group cyclic group generated by a has exactly one subgroup of order k okay in this part we can divide this theorem into three equal parts and in the examination if they ask state and prove fundamental theorem of cyclic groups you have to write down this total statement okay so you have to keep the heading fundamental theorem of cyclic groups after that you have to write down the statement this total statement every subgroup okay from the every subgroups to the last you namely the cyclic subgroup generated by a power n by k this is the total statement of this theorem this theorem contains three parts already the first part every subgroup of a cyclic group is cyclic we discussed in the previous lecture okay so now the first part every subgroup of a cyclic group is cyclic we discussed this uh, this uh, topic in the previous lecture that is where we have taken capital h is a subgroup okay generated by a power m by using the division algorithm we proved that capital h is also satisfies the cyclic group condition then automatically that capital uh, subgroup is also satisfies the cyclic group condition therefore capital h is a cyclic group okay so now for the second part second part is nothing but i am keeping the side headings for this part the order of any subgroup of generator a is a divisor of small n this is the second part of this theorem now in this part we have to prove that the order of a subgroup in capital h okay in capital g the order is a divisor of the small n so now see here given order of a cyclic group generated by a is equal to small n that is small n is the least positive integer such that a power n is equal to small e okay so we have order of a cyclic group generated by a is equal to small n now we have to take the subgroup subgroup for this cyclic group let let capital h be a subgroup for the cyclic group generated by a that means capital h is less than or equal to the cyclic group generated by a and the elements in the capital h okay is equal to a power m format okay generated by a power m so capital h is equal to cyclic group generated by a power m where small m is the 
पॉजिटिव इंटीजर ओके देन ए पावर एम बिलोंग्स टू कैपिटल हेच फॉर सम एम बिलोंग्स टू जेड ओके सो नाउ लेट स्मॉल बी बी एनी आर्बिट्ररी एलिमेंट इन कैपिटल हेच स्मॉल बी बी एनी आर्बिट्ररी एलिमेंट इन कैपिटल हेच वी आर टेकिंग स्मॉल बी बी एन एलिमेंट इन कैपिटल हेच ऑलरेडी वी प्रूव इन द फर्स्ट केस कैपिटल हेच इज ए साइक्लिक ग्रुप ओके इन दट साइक्लिक ग्रुप इफ यू टेक वन एलिमेंट दट एलिमेंट शुड बी इन दिस फॉर्मेट बी इज इक्वल टू ए पावर के ओके बी इज इक्वल टू ए पावर के बिलोंग्स टू कैपिटल हेच फॉर सम के बिलोंग्स टू इंटीजर फॉर सम के बिलोंग्स टू इंटीजर बी बी इक्वल टू ए पावर के एंड बाय डिविजन अलगारिदम there exist to two unique integers q comma r such that this k i am writing as m into q plus r with the remainder zero less than or equal to small r less than q okay so since from the previous lecture we proved that if you take this remainder r not is equal to zero then you will get the contradiction part that means only q is the smallest positive integer if you get r not is equal to zero then r is also smallest positive integer then it gives the contradiction for the equation star in the previous lecture now If you take R not is equal to zero, you will get the contradiction. Then it uh, H not H not uh, H will not be a subgroup. So otherwise, if you take R is equal to zero, then you will have K is equal to M into Q. Okay? Unless R is equal to zero, then capital H is a subgroup of capital G. So therefore, K is equal to M into Q. Now applying a power K is equal to a power M into Q. so that implies a power k is equal to a power m whole power q since we have since we have b is an arbitrary element in capital h okay b is an arbitrary element in capital h what is that meaning b sometimes might be an identity elements okay b sometimes might be an identity element and at the same time b also will become a power k and a power m so now you can see here so b is equal to small e or b is equal to a power k or the same b i am taking as a power n since b belongs to a power k capital h okay so since b is equal to a power k b is equal to a power k belongs to capital h so since b is an arbitrary element in capital h now i am taking this condition b is equal to a power k so and that a power k is equal to a power n now from the previous step we have a power k is equal to a power m into q from the divisional algorithm step now in this a power k substitute a power n a power n is equal to a power m into q okay by using this equation you can write any value in place of a power k you can write a power n also why because they both are equal so therefore from this equation bases are equal then power should be same so therefore n is equal to m into q okay n is equal to m into q if you observe carefully from this condition we can write small m divides n that is small m divides n therefore therefore the subgroup of 
therefore the order of order of a subgroup the order of a subgroup of a cyclic group generated by a is a divisor of n a divisor of n that is only na here m is the order of the cyclic group okay why because cyclic group capital h is generated by a power m okay so m is the order of capital h the order divides small n where n is the order of the cyclic group so therefore n is equal to m into q from that condition we can write m divides n okay so that implies m divides n so therefore the order of the subgroup of a cyclic group divides the order of n this is the second part proof now the third part what is the third part proof so the group generated by small a has exactly one subgroup of order k i am giving the subheading the group generated by small a has exactly one subgroup of order k namely so a power n by k okay so this is the adding of the third property so the group generated by cap a small a has exactly one subgroup of order k so now let from the statement we have k is a positive integer let k be a k be a positive divisor of small n okay from the statement we have k be a positive divisor of small n then by noun theorem then by noun theorem of cyclic groups what is that noun theorem if the order of an element is equal to finite and k be a positive integer okay if the order of an element is finite and k be a positive integer then then we have the subgroup generated by k a power k is equal to the subgroup generated by their gcd okay so where d is the gcd of n comma k gcd of n comma k and order of a power k is equal to order of the group and gcd gcd of n comma k these are the two conditions from the cyclic group theorem so therefore now by using these two theorems why because here k be a positive integer from the statement we are taking that condition now from the well known theorem in the cyclic group condition order of a cyclic group is equal to n by gcd of n comma k and this condition so now replace k by n by k in above two equations in above two equations then you will get the cyclic group generated by n by k is equal to the cyclic group generated by gcd of n comma n by k and the order of the cyclic group a power nk is equal to gcd of n comma n by k so therefore therefore the cyclic group generated by a power n by k has the order has the order that is is equal to n by gcd of n comma n by k so that is equal to n by their both gcd again you will get n by k so therefore n by 1 into 
k by n so n n will get cancel you will get the k so therefore order of the cyclic group generated by n by k is equal to k and since we have since we have capital h is a subgroup capital h is a subgroup of the cyclic group generated by a then we can write capital h is equal to a power m so therefore where small m is the positive divisor where small m is the positive divisor of small n then then we can write that m is equal to gcd of n comma small m then that small m is equal to we can write gcd of n comma small m so therefore by using this condition we can apply that so therefore then m is equal to gcd of n comma m then the order k is equal to a power m order of a power m is equal to k therefore a is equal to in place of m substitute this value okay so therefore gcd of n comma m it is in the format of the second condition of the cyclic group theorem so therefore from that condition we can write n by gcd of n comma m so what is the gcd of n comma m so here you will get k k and k is equal to n by gcd of n comma m is equal to m from this equation so therefore from this condition if you send this small m to lhs m is equal to n by k m is equal to n by k then where what is the m m is the positive divisor of n and m is the order of a cyclic group capital h so since capital h is equal to cyclic group generated by a power m now substitute the small m value in that equation so therefore that is equal to a power n by k so this is the subgroup generated by a power n k as order k so therefore this is the proof of the third condition in this in this way we can prove the first second third conditions of the fundamental theorem of the cyclic group first of all in this theorem we did that every subgroup of a cyclic group is cyclic we proved that condition by using the division algorithm after that to prove a subgroup of a cyclic group generated by a is a pass, uh, is divisor by n then we have to prove the regular process by using the division algorithm okay next by proving the third condition again we are taking the capital k be a positive divisor of n and the one of the properties from the previous uh, previous lecture we are using by them so then you can prove that order of a subgroup generated by k has the order is equal to k so this is the total explanation of the fundamental theorem of the cyclic group okay i hope you understood this theorem very well okay so in the next lecture we are coming with problems based on the uh, cyclic group conditions only so make it perfect practice and prepare well until bye thank you